E. Gads, The Adventures of Lizzie and Lucy the Ghosts continue this month with Chapter 7 of our E. Gads roleplay. They exited the green swirling tunnel before the tunnel slammed closed behind them. The ghost horses whinnied as they reared up, which halted the chariot with a jolt. Samara had the horses turn the chariot around. Lucy was still perched on Lizzie's back, looking at the green glowing boulder resting in the center of a swirling green bubble. Streams of green mist flowed off the boulder, joining the green bubble surrounding it. What if the bubble pops? I believe we've found the source, Samara stated. Lucy tilted her head. I'll say it's not as cold anymore. It's still cold, though, and I don't like it. Perhaps the wind was making it colder, Lizzie commented as she fluttered her feathers. Where'd the boulder come from, and why is it glowing green? I have no idea, Samira muttered with a frown. It's strange how such a small boulder could be causing such trouble all over the area. Well, I don't think the wind is going to carry anyone off now. Let me untie the rope from around us. Lizzie hopped off the chariot with Lucy still on her back as soon as the rope was untied, and stopped closer to the green boulder. It looks like there is some sort of spell around the boulder causing it to have a green bubble wrapped around it. We'll need to break the spell, Lucy remarked as she looked at the green bubble wrapped around the boulder. Desert cacti were being transformed into glowing green shadows trapped inside the bubble. Samara smiled. I can cast a spell, but I think the spell will need a boost. To do that, I'll need your help. Okay, how can we help? Lucy quacked. I'll need both of you to flap your wings hard to send the spell through the air, Samara replied. She opened a scroll and took out a brush. With intent eyes and a deft hand, she began crafting a spell on the scroll. Ready? Samara asked. Lizzie prepared her wings. Ready! Bubble disperse, Samara cried. The spell formed in front of them. Lizzie and Lucy flapped their wings, sending the spell at the bubble surrounding the boulder. A sizzling noise filled the air before a deafening pop shattered the bubble around the boulder. Green blobs shot into the air as the bubble popped. Lizzie's eyes widened, and she hurried to dodge behind the front of the chariot in hopes of avoiding the green splatters. Samira was not far behind them. Oops, Samara remarked with a sheepish expression on her face as she patted the flank of one of her horses. The blobs splattered on the ground where they jiggled in place like some sort of strange green gelatin. Lucy peeked around the chariot's wheel. She giggled. It worked! Let's wrap the rope around the boulder and put it on the chariot, Samara laughed. Where are we going to take it? Lucy quacked. We'll fling it into space towards the sun, Samara replied. Lucy blinked her green eyes. To do that, we'll need to fly. She was excited. It would be fun to fly in a chariot. They wrapped the rope around the boulder, which was an interesting task to manage without touching the boulder itself, before they used the rope to haul it up on the chariot. I thought you didn't have the enchantment for making the chariot fly ready yet, Lizzie commented. I don't, Samara replied. I'm going to have to improvise and hope that I don't make any mistakes. I would really like to wait until I had some time to do testing, but this is an emergency. Can I count on the strength of your wings if the enchantment should fail? Absolutely, Lizzie agreed. I might need a few of your feathers if you are willing, Lizzie, to make this work on short notice, Samara requested. The magic in them should let me bypass some steps. Ordinarily, she would never just give her feathers away. But Samira was right. This was an emergency. Lizzie blinked her purple eyes in curiosity before she twisted her head around to pluck a few of her golden rainbow-colored feathers. Here, 